Is Elon Musk looking for the silver lining to his Tesla problem? Or is silver a terrible choice in metals to line cars with? Find out more in today's... Elon Musk has been relatively quiet on Twitter and Instagram over the past week, mostly due to the fact that he is, as he has said, in the A circle of production hell. Oh man, thank God it's not the ninth circle of production hell. You don't want to be there. The devil has three heads and he eats babies. <laughs> not the kind you're thinking of. What? The company is missing goals and facing production slowdowns due to a host of issues, some of which are actually beyond their control. But Elon Musk has taken the blame himself. Quoth the daddy. I always move my desk to wherever. I don't really have a desk, actually. I move myself to wherever the biggest problem is in Tesla. I really believe that one should lead from the front lines. Und that's why I am here. He's even taken this attitude to the point of reportedly sleeping on the floors of his factories during long stretches of work. Rumors are starting to spread that he doesn't have time to tend to his legions of venomous bats that are now swarms of bats swirling through the air above the Gigafactory in Nevada where humans quake with fear and shutter their doors and bar their windows after sundown in fear of the growing darkness to come. But not all is doom and gloom for dear old daddy. I mean, for one, he's a f***ing billionaire. Yeah. So he's got that going for him. Yeah, that's nice. Plus, if Musk is having production problems, maybe he needs a robot like the Guardian GT from Sarcos Robotics. Love that anime. Its seven foot long arms are designed to lift <laughs> 500 pounds each. Must, uh, modeled after Dan's wide boy arms here, and yet be able to handle what is delicate and needs uh, the utmost dexterity. It has a plus three to dexterity, and yes, that is without any racial modifiers. What? Now, it achieves this through its advanced controls and teleoperation, which gives the user force feedback as the robot lifts or manipulates, which is basically, here, Dan, as I understand it, like a rumble pack on the N64 controller. You know, Dan, teleoperate my arms. <laughs> you can always find me in the drift. No! <laughs> and the best part of the Guardian GT is that the operator gets to wear the coolest goggles ever. More like cream punk, those look amazing. Finally, what? whether I'm lifting heavy pipes or killing alien queens, I can look as good as I feel while kicking some ass. What's cream punk? You know how steampunk it <laughs> Anyway. Cream punk. And now from robotic arms to tunneling machines, it's time for an update on the boring company. <laughs> Just call me the Segway bro. <laughs> I will, the Segway bro. Whoa. And you didn't even have to dig far for that transition. <laughs> Just call me the pun bro. I do. Elon Musk shared a new photo of the two mile test tunnel that is currently being bored beneath SpaceX headquarters in SoCal. Dude, sad. Uh, take a huanga, you can see the whole thing. Oh, it's off the 40. <laughs> anyway, the test tunnel is still under construction, and Musk went into further detail saying, <clears throat> 500 feet so far, should be two miles long in three or four months, and hopefully stretch the whole 405 north to south corridor from Lax to the 101 in a year or so, bros. To which we say it cannot be done fast enough. If there's one thing we hate, it's highway traffic. If there's two things we hate, it's highway traffic and uh, those really long receipts you get at CVS, it's like, hey, I just yeah. bought some toothpaste. Why the dictionary of encyclopedias? Yeah, and what's the deal with airplane food, am I? Boy, uh, uh. But enough of our bland yet reasonable pet peeves, because it's time for your Musk see moment of the week. Musk see. Oh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold, wait. Musk see! Of the week. Now, we reported a couple weeks ago on Rick and Morty creators Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon visiting Elon Musk himself at SpaceX headquarters. And to commemorate the visit, Justin Roiland posted a picture of what he calls the first of a few drawings that he's sending to Musk and his sons. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm not impressed. We send Elon pictures all the time of us and his sons and we don't hear anything. No, I mean, we did draw pictures where we are Elon Musk's sons and uh, yeah. yes, we did send one a day minimum for the past six months, but honestly, no who style. can say what that means except that it's a miracle we actually haven't heard from his lawyers yet. It really is, so we better wrap up this episode before we incriminate ourselves any further, so that's the end of this episode of Muskwatch. Bye. Bye. Still NASA. What's in there? Oh, a thumbs up Whoa. for you.
Thanks for watching this week's Must Watch. Now remember to like and comment below with your bland yet reasonable pet peeve. I can't stand people touching ceramic. I, uh, I hate when people don't use turn signals. It's like, it's right there. Uh, it, um, I don't like people touching my skin. Um, let's see, I don't like when people use too many unnecessary consonants in a row and text like, hey, with like six Y's, stop it. I've stepped on rice on the kitchen floor and I almost had to, had to leave. Uh, one time I touched a chalkboard and I almost sh <laughs> Yeah, no, I get that. If you've got any musky stories, send them our way at SciFile, at Dan Casey, and at Nerdist with the hashtag MUSCRATCH! Woo! We are ready! Oh, what's under here? Still space.